Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to create a custom contact form using the contact form builder widget for Elementor. We showcase contact forms created with the contact form builder in many of our demos, including in the main one at the end of the page. This is a contact form created with a contact form builder, but you will see many other examples in our demo. In this video you will learn how to add the widget in a page and how to create a custom contact form. On this page I have already created the section where the contact form will be displayed. Next I will edit the page with Elementor. I will add the contact form widget here. So first I will look for the widget. This is the one. I will add it in the section with drag and drop. By default you will have three fields but you can remove these fields and add your own. I will keep the name field. You will be able to change the form labels. Also you will be able to make any field mandatory and change the column width. Under name I will add a new field for phone number. From the drop down I will select the field type. Here I will add the form field label and the form field placeholder. I will move the field position with drag and drop. I will add it under name. Next you will have the email field which I will leave as it is and the message field where the user will type his message. Here you will be able to change number of rows that the user will be able to type. You will have it set to 4 but you can increase or decrease this value. And the box here will be bigger or smaller. I will only use these fields but you will be able to add full name, first name, last name, mobile, address, country and the other fields in your contact form. I am done with the form field settings. Next you will have input size option. Here you will be able to change the size. Next you will have the option to choose if the labels will be displayed or not. I will set it to not be displayed. You will have the option to enable GDPR agreement. I will enable it. You will be able to change the text that will be seen here. Next I will go to the submit button settings. Here you will be able to change the text that will be displayed in the button. You will be able to set the submit button size, the submit button width and the button alignment. Going further to the email settings. Here you will add the email that will receive contact contact emails from this form. If you will leave blank then the emails will go to the email address that you set in team options. I will show that too. You will need to go to team options, go to social and contact and here is the place where you need to add the company email that will receive emails from contact forms. I will go back to the Elementor editor. Here you will be able to replace the email subject and add more email address for CC or BCC. Going further, I will go to style section. Here you will be able to make settings for the contact form design. You will be able to add form column gap, row gap. You will be able to set form label spacing and change colors. You will be able to change label text color and change the text typography. Going further, field style. Here you will be able to change field color text and typography. You will be able to set a color for the field background color. Also you will be able to change the border color and set border width and border radius values. Next in GDPR you will be able to change text color and typography for the words added for the GDPR agreement. Going further in button section you will have the option to make settings for the submit button. You will be able to change settings for normal state and hover state. You will be able to change color typography, border and other settings and for hover state you will have the option to change the colors. Next in advanced you will have the option to change layout settings and other more. I am done with the settings for my custom form. I will update the changes made and now on my home page I will have the custom contact form that I just created. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.